Well, you know, I can't visualize anything that transpired except I can visualize standing on the quarter deck. And uh, I can, I, we saw a Japanese plane, you know, you saw the meatball. And with the, I can't remember any noises as whether they strafed us or not. I think they did. And they sounded general quarters. Well, then, when they sounded general quarters, I can tell you that I can visualize going up to the boat deck. And I did something that to this day I can still see that was ridiculous. I took off my neckerchief and folded it and put it on the ammunition hoist. You fold, and what I mean is you take it off and you fold it in half, and just like you're going to, instead of putting it in your locker, I laid it on the ammunition hoist. And I can remember, you know, when Lightfoot was on the, he was a rammerman on the five inch, and he told me that uh, Mac, because you know, his, didn't say Jack, we didn't call each other by first names, that uh, the safety link was out. And I could tell you another story, too, that there was only three of us, and Robbie Foster was on the, he was the uh, pointer, and I guess that someone had trained the gun out. And I didn't know who was the pointer until after the 50th anniversary, and I met Robbie Foster, and I asked him, as he was with Don Stratton, and I said, where were you, you know? And he looked at me, and he says, hey, you were my gun captain. <laughs> He was, you he know, was right there. and I didn't know that until 50 years later. I know that I took out three rounds out of the uh, ammunition locker and put them in the fuse pots. I can't tell you what was said on there, but I'm pretty sure I know that I cranked it in. And it was probably set at point, 2.3 seconds, you know. The lowest setting. And I can't tell you if, if we got a round out, but if we did, it, fell over on Ford Island, you know, there wasn't, uh, the, you know, the mounts were manned. I can't say that uh, there was only three of us in our mount, but I, I've heard that, you know, there was more in the other mounts and that they got off rounds and I don't know. It wasn't controlled fire, but it was, they were firing. I know that the gun was elevated, you know, visualizing, you know. And then I remember there was, uh, well, we must have taken at least one or two bomb hits besides the one that, that sent us. I, I can recall seeing a blast of, you know, of, uh, that's my mind's eye. And uh, I was blown off the ship. They, they, or I'd like to think that if one of God's angels picked me up, I can remember being on the mount, and the next thing I knew, I was in the water. And I can recall, even to now, just look down and see. Ah. You know, you see if, see if I was all there, and there was a, an officer alongside, the, it was right at the key. And I said, you go, and he says, you go, and you go, and I, of course, he was an officer, and I wanted him to go up first. I can remember that. And the next thing I recall is being in a motor launch, and the motor launch was strafed, and then, because I can still see the, and the next thing I knew, I was on Ford Island, and uh, the next thing I can recall is that the, in the dispensary, and then cutting my, jumper off and they took my wedding ring and put it in my pant pocket. I can't remember it, but I remember walking up on out of the water and I can tell you that there was another man that was burned so horribly. That I can still see him with no clothes and bleeding. Quite a horrible experience, you know. Uh, I can't remember going from there, right at the, from the waterfront. The next thing I knew was in the dispensary on Ford Island. To, truthfully, I can't, my mind's eye, it okay. transpired between there and uh, the dispensary. 
And uh, then from the dispensary, I can still see them. The men, they told us to get out of there and because I think they dropped a dud on the dispensary. Well, when I was over in the, in the building, I can remember Lieutenant Chung Hoon was a, a later made admiral, gunnery officer, and he, we were all sitting alongside a bulkhead, you know, and I can remember asking who, any Arizona sailors. And that's the last thing I remember. The next thing I knew, I was in uh, Base 8 Hospital up in IEA. And, of course, they, I was bandaged, and they were feeding me through a tube. Uh -huh. And if anyone did any praying, you can imagine, you know. And I can remember that must have been two or three days later, I took off all the bandage one night. I can remember vaguely doing and the doctor didn't know it was me in the bed that next morning you know, when they come around to check. And they, I can remember him sitting down and he said, son, if any miracles come out of this war, <laughs> you're one. And I believe that to this day. Right. So.